So first thing you'll notice is in single player, we now have divided the game up into difficulty sections interspersed with with um, license tests, which are kind of like tutorials for the game. Uh, one of the uh, feelings with Trials HD is sometimes some people felt the game got pretty difficult in a hurry. So now in order to uh, sort of smooth out the learning curve, we've split up the tutorials in between the different difficulty settings and we require you to earn a certain number of uh, medals before you can unlock the next section of the game. With these, with unlocking, um, with, well, by earning enough medals and, and, and playing through these new tutorial sections, uh, we feel that you're going to get all the skills that you need to proceed properly through the game. Now I'll show you some of the uh, single player tracks. We now have outdoor environments. So this makes the game look a whole lot fresher and brighter. Uh, Trials HD was pretty much confined to a warehouse. It was very dark and um, Lots of explosions and boxes. Here we're outdoors. We have a lot going on. We have draw distances out to about 500 meters. That's quite new. So we've really tweaked the engine and overhauled the overall look of the game. We have also added curved driving lines, which is uh, really important for the outdoor environment to make, it, make sure it looks very natural and uh, smooth appearing. Yet at the same time, we've managed to keep a 60 frames per second locked right in. So the controls are always responsive and smooth and very, very similar to the, the game uh, Trials HD. You'll also notice that every level we, we're doing in this game is going to look and feel very different from the previous levels. Well, that was terrible. So, uh, not an easy game to talk and, put, and demo at the same time. But so here we have kind of a wor World War II theme. Previous one was kind of a walk in the park. We have tracks that look like Limbo, uh, the other Xbox arcade game. We have tracks that are set in nighttime. We have fog, different weather conditions, different lighting conditions. So a whole lot of variety this time around. We've also scripted fun endings, lots of explosions and rider injuries for you uh, to enjoy at the end of every uh, single player level. One thing you'll notice as you are uh, playing through the single player game is that you are going to be earning cash as well. The cash can be used in the garage, and here's where you can buy different items to customize your rider's appearance, and you can also change uh, and tweak the bike. This is only cosmetic. It doesn't affect the performance of your bike, so the game is still very much dependent on your skill. We also have a robust stat section, so this profile doesn't have any friends set up, but if you did have all your Xbox Live Arcade friends right on here, you'd be able to compare money earned, time played, longest distance, and other, other cool stats. So there's about 60 single player tracks, and that's just with the base game. We also have user generated content integrated into the game in a much more robust way. So we're not actually online here, so I can't show you the track central uh, portion entirely, but this is where you would go to, to get new tracks created by other users. You can search by difficulty level, gamer tag, uh, single player or multiplayer track, there's a whole lot of options for you. And here's where you would play the tracks you've downloaded. And we also have two versions of the editor. The white editor is for people who just want to get in there and quickly lay down some uh, different points for the track. This is going to be a rather ugly track. <laughs> See, that, that's, that's, that's how quickly it is to, to create a track. And then with the advanced editor, We've, we've really opened up all the game logic, all the triggers, and all the objects to you. There's over 1,500 different objects in the game that you can use in the track editor to create whatever you, you really desire. And finally, there's multiplayer. So Xbox Live Arcade and Local. We have four players going at the same time. So here you see everyone's going to be driving along the same driving line. And unfortunately, well, I don't have other players to, <laughs> to drive. but. So as you can see, every time you fall, you are respawned at the next checkpoint. So no player has to wait around. You're always moving, you're always doing something.
And the, the multiplayer races are short, fast, and furious, and a lot of fun. So that's available as local multiplayer and also through Xbox Live Arcade. So Trials Evolution, Spring 2012.